your question is proof identity see that what they have given 2 minus sin x plus cos x whole square is equal to sin x minus cos x whole square we will take lhs and we will prove rhs so if you see rhs it is in the form of a minus b whole square a minus b whole square that is equal to what it is a square minus 2ab plus b square so in this form you should get your lhs now so first we will go for this how it will be you can see here 2 is there first so 2 means what? 2 means 2 into 1 minus and just we, you have to solve this as a plus b whole square. So that is a square that is in bracket a square is your sine square x. Next is your plus 2ab plus 2 sine x cos x. And next is your b square. That is your plus cos square x. Now open the bracket. At the same time we know the identity of 1. What is that? That is nothing but sin square theta or sin square x plus cos square x. That is equal to 1. So this value you have to substitute in place of 1. So it will be just like this 2 in bracket it will be sin square x plus cos square x. And open this bracket we will get minus sin square x minus 2 sin x cos x minus cos square x. Now, 2 into sin square x is 2 sin square x plus 2 cos square x minus sin square x. This you have to write again. Sin square x minus 2 sin x cos x minus cos square x. Now if you see this is 2 sin square x and here it is minus sin square x. That means 2 minus 1 is 1. So you will get sin square x. Here it is 2 cos square x and minus cos square x. Again it will be cos square x only. So plus cos square x. And here comes minus 2 sin x cos x. Now see this. a square minus 2ab plus b square. So now this will become your a square. This will become your b square. And minus 2 sin x cos x will become your minus 2ab. You can see this. So now we can say LHS is equal to RHS, hence proved. So like this we have to do this type of question.